Alright guys, welcome back. Game of Thrones Season 3 Episode 9 and I cannot wait for this episode. The previous two seasons, Episode 9, have been insane. Last season we obviously got the fight between the Lannisters and the Bar or Stannis' troops at least. And then the season before, we had Ned Stark getting beheaded. Joffrey ordered Ned Stark to get beheaded. Like, the, the most two insane episodes seem to happen in the penultimate episode. So I am expecting massive things from this episode. And I just hope my mate, like, I hope some of my characters that I love don't die. Like, I'm hoping, like, my favourite characters have to be Tyrion. I love Arya. I like Rob, obviously. So, I hope none of them die. They're my main, like, likes. So, without further ado, if you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as I say in every reaction, as it really helps me out. And if you are interested in seeing full, early, uncut reactions to this and all my other movie and TV show reactions, then my Patreon link will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get into Game of Thrones, Episode 9. <laughs> So guys, last episode, obviously we had the wedding between Tyria and Sansa. Joffrey obviously handled it amazingly. Actually, he was a massive dickhead to everyone. At least Tyrion stood up for himself though. We also had Daenerys. He, she made a new friend who, you know, wants to shag her for some reason. But no, he killed the rest of his comrades and swore himself to Daenerys. And I'm just so excited to see what happens in this episode. Oh, Casterly Rock. Who's trying to invade there then? This looks like Rob's field. The Lords of Westeros will realize he's not invincible. Take his home, take his gold, take his power. Jesus Christ, Rob's going all in against Tywin then. You begged me not to send Theon to negotiate with his father and I ignored your advice. Yes, that is true. And then Theon decided to take Winsfell, well, actually, and then he got captured and tortured, so who even knows anymore about Theon? I'm asking your advice. Yeah, come on, Catelyn. What is your advice? We have enough men. If Walder Frey cooperates. If Walder Frey cooperates. Well, you need to marry one of his daughters, don't you? Instead of the person that you actually did marry. We'll lose the war and die the way father died. Or worse. Oh, Jesus. Is there a worse way to die? No, no, yeah, there's definitely worse ways to die than being beheading. At least it's, you know, fast. Oh my god, I can't believe Rob is actually going to King's Landing to take the castle. That is mad. How is this even happening? Hey, Winterfell, yes! We are part of Winterfell, definitely. Be welcome within my walls and at my table. Now, I wonder if Filch is actually going to give us the men. Hospitality and protection in the light of the Seven. Why does he sound like such a weirdo? Protection! I have come to make my apologies, my lord, and to beg your forgiveness. What, for marrying someone else after promising yourself to someone else? It wasn't me who spurned, it was my girls. Yeah, but which one was he actually promised to? Catelyn said one of them was, you know, quite fit. So, which one was did he want? My daughter Walda, my daughter Derwa, my daughter Walda. Mate, aren't they all your daughters? Don't you have, like, a Craster situation? Sarah and Sarah, granddaughters. Twins, you could have had either. <laughs> you could have had both. Two for one deal, isn't it? And pledge to do all I can to make amends so the Freys of the Crossing and the Starks of Winterfell may once again be friends. Mate, you've literally betrayed his trust. Oh god, that's not a good sign, is it? Filch clapping. No, 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 I would not trust him. There she is. Come closer. Let me have a look at you. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, David Bradley acts in, like, two of my favourite things, Harry Potter and Doctor Who. And he's incredible in both. Very honourable. I call it a pretty face. Mm. Yeah, but she also has the personality. She's quite funny, too. Oh, you try to hide her under that dress. 
If you wanted to hide her, you shouldn't have brought her here in the first place. Uh, why does that make it seem like you're just gonna kill her? Please do not. She's carrying Rob's baby. I literally just forgot that. I can always see what's going on beneath a dress. Oh wait, does that mean he knows that she's pregnant? When I was your age, I'd have broken 50 oaths to get into that without a second thought. <laughs> yes, at least Felch is on our side. We're definitely, you know. <laughs> we set up tents outside with food and ale for the rest of your men. Oh, is he actually helping? The wine will flow red and the music will play loud. Okay, I did not expect this. I expected him to just, like, kill Rob or something for betraying the agreement that they had. Not gonna lie, Daenerys should be, like, firing every Unsullied. This guy, like, slipped past all of them. There. It's a back gate. Jesus, the sexual chemistry between these two. Jura is gonna be jealous as hell. I take your two best men and lead them through the back streets, which I know well. Now, nah, this guy seems incredible. I actually want to see him fight. The masters of Yunkai will pay you your fee and you won't have to split it three ways because you've already slaughtered your partners. Why are you suspecting him? Just because you were spying on him and Daenerys. Well, I'm pretty sure it was Jora. Yeah, come on. Do you trust him? Oh, really? Okay. We're trusting him then. You can use an extra sword. You're the Queen's guard, Sir Barristan. Your place is by the Queen. Come on, you have to protect Daenerys. You can't fight on the front line. We're west of Castle Black. Ooh, hello Samuel. How are you feeling after you killed the first White Walker in the show? This show will always remember that Sam killed the first White Walker. The Black Gate, as old as the wall itself. No one's used it in centuries most likely aren't john and all the wildlings going there this is gonna be a bit of a sus conversation when john's now joined the wildlings how do you know all that i read about it in a, a very old book mate he seems to read about everything that's how we knew about the white walkers you know all that from staring at marks on paper yeah it's called literature mate that's how people learn stuff. You're like a wizard. Whoa, Sam's like Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum. No wildling ever looked upon the wall and lived. Here we are. <laughs> Do you know Jon Snow's army? Do you know the Lord of Bones? Do you know Iglid? Like, they have climbed the wall and seem to have lived, so. Arya! Ar no, Arya still is my favourite character and I hope she gets to see Rob and Catelyn, please. Need a hand. Need about eight hands. Oh. Get Jesus Christ! I don't think he expected him to be that strong. Many thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We're not killing him. Saying scary things to little girls. Killing little boys and old people. A real hard man you are. Yeah, you tell him, Maria. I know a killer. A real killer. That's so. Who? Oh, Jackin! That him? No, 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 wait. No, that's not him. <laughs> Don't kill him. Please. Come on, Aria. Talk some sense into him. Get Jackin on this man. <laughs> oh, my God. The hound looks so shocked that the Arya did that. Brandon the Builder gave all this land south of the wall to the Night's Watch. This guy needs a haircut. Like, honestly, Bran Stark needs a massive haircut. I don't really like him with long hair. Why leave? Wildlings. Clearly going through puberty, mate. He's like, wildlings. And then he gets all high pitched. There's a storm coming. I don't see any. Is that the windmill? Do you know the windmill that John and Igrid passed? And Igrid was like, oh, is that a palace? And everyone was like, no, what the hell are you on about? The watch protects him. Not today, they don't. Hey, there's Jon Snow. He's another one of my favourite characters. I swear to God, if he dies, oh, I might just quit this show. I keep telling you. He's an old man. So, doesn't mean we have to kill him. Spread out. Surround the hut. Move in. 
Jesus, we get to see the wildlings in action then. Like, I don't know how Jon Snow's gonna do this because he's obviously not gonna be with killing people. Adrian! Yeah! Jon Snow saved him! Wait, Jon Snow actually saved him? He tapped his sword on the rock to alert him and then stopped Igrid shooting him. Can Arya just go there? She's literally so close to her brother and mum. They they are there. I feel like she's actually going to get back to her family in this episode. I'm not afraid. Of course you are. You're almost there. Yeah, exactly. She's been almost there for the last, like, four months or year, to be fair. Like, every time she gets captured by someone else. Any fear when I saw it in you? Yeah, I saw it in you at fire. You're afraid of fire. Yes. See, Aria even knows it. Press your face to the fire like you're a nice, juicy mutton chop. Yeah, I was going to say, it's because of the mountain, right? He was, he was such an evil man to his brother and everyone. Someday... I'm going to put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. Oh my god, Aria. I really hope we see that. Please, 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 can we see Maisie Williams do that? My uncle said it's 700 feet high. Well, I don't really care. He's dead, isn't he? Well, actually, we haven't found his body yet, right? Climb straight up the ice. Even Hodor's not strong enough to climb the wall with me on his back. Are you kidding? Jon Snow, Ygritte, and all the rest of them did it. So I can tell you now, Hodor is strong enough to climb the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a writer out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the guy that just ran away from Jon Snow. Wildlings. No, it's Jon Snow. Someone look. Make him shut up. If they hear us. Hush, Hodor. No, no more Hodor. Hodor. Uh, Hodor. Oh god, Hodor's gonna give away their position. No, 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 no. What? Are you kidding me? Did Bran Stark just control Hodor? Like, what the- what? How the hell is that possible? What did you do? Nothing. I don't know. Right, I'm sorry, Bran Stark is some kind of wizard. That's a horse dying. Why are they killing the horse? What did he ever do? I heard shouting up there. Thunder. I know the difference between- Jon Snow is literally there. Why don't you just send Jon up there and he'll see Bran? Make the crow kill him. What? Why are we making Jon Snow kill him? I can't do it by choice. Oh, God. Oh my God, he's gonna go in the eyes of the wolf and he's gonna see Jon Snow. Yes, 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 please! Please, can someone reunite with their family? Up. John, you don't want to do this, mate. Why? Why are you making him do this? <sighs> nah, John's not gonna do it. He's a crow. He'll always be a crow. And here's his crow wife guarding him. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! John's gonna go against them! And Bran's gonna help! <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Ingrid and John v everyone! Yes! Oh my god, John is insane! Do it. Come on, Bran! Come on! Help us! Oh my god, he's gonna see Jon Snow, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes! The wolves are helping because he can see that it's Jon Snow. It's literally his brother. You were right the whole time. Yes! Finally! Finally, finally, finally! Oh god, I guess we get to see what happens when he dies. The bird literally kills people. No! Jon, don't leave! Bran is literally there! Oh my god, why are you leaving? No, Ingrid, why have you left her? She's your wife, man. I'm a great whistler. Greatest in the land. Oh ho ho, good at those cat calls then. <laughs> Jesus, 
How the hell has he killed them all already? Yunkish prefer to let their slaves do their fighting for them. Oh god, this has gone terribly. No, 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 he better not have betrayed them. This better not be him. Okay, definitely not him since he's killing them. Yeah, I said I wanted to see him and Jura fight and we get it. This is sick. Oh, I'm loving all the battles in this episode. It's been so good so far. Oh god, the double team from Jura and, you know, the long-haired guy. I'm still yet to learn his name. Yeah, I don't think we can fight this many. What the hell is happening here? So this is Waldefrey and um, Rob's like army, right? So has Rob's uncle finally like agreed to actually marry one of them? And this is, you know, the wedding of this. I really hope Arya and the Hound just burst in. Just unveils it, it's like Medusa. He just looks at her and he's like, right, can I swap her out for someone else? Okay, fair enough. I would not be swapping her out. She's, she, yeah, she's quite fair to be fair. May now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. Yes. What is it with cloaking people? Tyrion, you know, struggled to do that in the last episode. In the sight of the seven, I hereby seal these two souls. No, weddings are actually so cool. We've got a wedding in the last episode, wedding in this episode, and I'm guessing we're gonna get Joffrey and Marjorie's episode in either this episode or the next episode. Does Bran not know that it was Jon Snow yet? Well, you did a lot more than that. You got inside Hodor's mind. Yeah, that is true. He literally was like Mantis in the MCU. When I was looking through Summer's eyes, I saw John. Where? Yes! Oh my god, yes! He tried to kill him, but he got away. He'll be heading back to Castle Black then. That's where we should go. Yeah, he definitely won't be heading back to Castle Black. No one's at Castle Black. Listen to me, little lord. Don't worry. I'm not asking you to come with me. You think she's gonna leave you? I'm sorry, Tonks will never leave you. You and Osher and Shaggy Dog head for the last half. The Umbers are our bannermen. They'll protect you. Okay, so it's just gonna be Bran, Newt, and Hodor. Nah, this is sick. I love Thomas Brody Sangster as an actor. Rob's at war and I'm going beyond the wall. If something happens to us, you're the heir to Winterfell. Oh my god, he actually is, isn't he? Imagine Rob and Bran both die and Rickon becomes the, like, king of the north. I don't want to leave. Come here, I'm not gonna lie. Who is this kid? <laughs> Rickon has had like two scenes in the whole three seasons. You're leaving now. It's the middle of the night. I'll learn to walk in darkness. Wait, they're going now? Why are they going now? They might as well wait till daytime. Keep this one safe. He means the world to me. Aww. I can't believe Tonks was a wildling. And look, she's, she's now on their side. We've been waiting a long time. Haven't we? Yeah, you can't rush battles, can ya? Oh god, they were captured, weren't they? Their slave soldiers threw down their spears and surrendered. Oh, there he is. I, I was gonna say I thought Joe were killed him. Can I ask how these three killed all like 50 of those men? <laughs> This is a good choice of music for this wedding. Quite the country style, boys. He complained about this marriage the entire ride from River One. And now look at him. Yeah, I was gonna say, when you see a bride like that, you're not gonna be complaining, are you? Don't you drink, Lord Bolton? Never do, my lady. Dulls the senses. That's the point. Is he not gonna be like, oh yeah, I've sent like Brienne and Jamie to death, basically? Well, not Jamie. He's tried to kill Brienne. My mother's alone with Roose Bolton. I should rescue her. Your mother is less in need of rescue than any woman I've ever met. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, she is quite a hard ass, isn't she? Catelyn Stark can handle herself. Your grace! <laughs> hey, speech, 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 speech! Some words were said, and Lord Edmure has wrapped my daughter in a cloak. Yes. A sword needs a sheath. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't understand your joke, mate. The wedding needs a bedding. Oh, the bedding ceremony. You know, like Joffrey was on about. If you think the time is right, Lord Walder, by all means, let us bed them. Yeah! Yeah! Why, why am I sharing this? <laughs> I'm so engrossed in this show now. I think I'm literally in this room with them. Careful now, ladies. Once you set that monster free, there's no caging him again. Jesus Christ. Has he not just been married? I'm sure you endured yours with grace. Oh, Nat forbade it. He said it wouldn't be right if he broke a man's jaw on our wedding night. Oh, yes. Nah, Ned was the ultimate noble man. I miss him so much. Without the bedding ceremony, there's no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated their marriage. No, that there are other ways of providing proof. No, 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 no. Don't let slip that you're pregnant. I think this is going to go terribly. I know what we should name him. Oh, do you? Eddard, probably. It seems to me the father should have some say in his son's naming. Eddard. Look at that. What the hell? I am guessing on point here. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? I do. Yes. There's going to be another Ned Stark in the world. Oh my god, yes. Why has all the music gone weird? I'm. I think. No, no, no. I don't trust this man now. Oh my god, they're actually here! Oh my god, Arya's gonna see her family! Got salt pork for the feast. The feast is over. It doesn't sound like it's over. <laughs> if I tell you it's over, it's over. No, 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 something's going on. Something suspicious is happening. Are you soft in the head? Turn this car around. Mate, do not talk to the hound like that. <laughs> oh. Yes, Arya's gone. Arya's snuck in. Your grace. I feel I've been remiss. I don't trust this man. Why do I not trust this man? But I haven't shown you the hospitality you deserve. Wait, what is this guy going to do? Why is Catelyn so worried? New queen, a wedding gift. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Why is he wearing armor? shock in this life oh my god oh my god no I can't, I can't even get my words out what the hell what the hell is happening they've just killed rob they've just killed rob's wife they've just killed rob's baby they've just killed catelyn what the fuck it's over yet is it Aye. it's over <laughs> no aria oh, i feel so bad for this girl she's watched everyone she loves die <laughs> Yeah, please, please let the direwolves out. Cut. I swear to God. What? what? I cannot believe, I swear to God, if you find Aria and kill her, I will come there and I will kill you all. I will just stop watching this show. It's too late. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, Hound. Thank you so much. You've saved Arya's life. Oh my God. Thank you. You're you're gonna be the protector of the Stark sisters. 
Okay, Catelyn's still alive. Okay, please, can one of them survive? Okay, Rob's still alive. Okay, at least the one I least care about is dead. The king in the north arises. <laughs> I swear to God, we can't lose Rob. I feel so bad for him. Like, he's got two arrows sticking out of him. He's lost his baby, and he's lost everyone. Lord Walter! Lord Walter, enough! Yes, come on, let John go. Not John, Rob go. He is my son, my first son. Let him go, and I swear that we will forget this. We will take no vengeance. I'm sorry. Rob will take vengeance. You swore by all the gods your son would marry my daughter. Jesus Christ. Rob, get up. Get up and walk out. Please. No, Rob is going to try to kill him. There is no way Rob is letting this go. And why would I let him do that? I swear to God. God, Walder Frey. On my honor as a Tullic, on my honor as a Stark, let him go. Come on, Callan. Or I will cut your wife's throat. Yes, come on. Say it, say it now. I mean, there's no way Rob's letting this go. I'll find another. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I probably just deafened everyone! Ah! Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? Ah! Okay, at least she killed his wife. I mean he didn't give a shit though! What the f oh! How the hell? <laughs> Why have we lost Rob? Are you fucking joking? Are you joking? I swear to God. You fucking end the episode there. Are you joking? Are you... I don't have words for that. What? Well, guys. Season 3, episode 9 is over. And... I don't think I've been shocked, more shocked than that in a TV show in my life, actually. I am on the verge of crying and on the verge of just, I don't know. Everything is like, what, what? I, why am I so invested in this TV show? And why have they just killed off four main characters in 10 minutes? I was looking at the marker 10 minutes ago and I was like, Ah, it's been a really good episode, but it hasn't lived up to the episode 9 standards. And then it just went above and beyond. That's the best episode of Game of Thrones I've ever seen. And I, I, yeah, like, I don't see how you can make a better episode than that. It's the best episode of Game of Thrones I have ever seen. Like, so far, I, imagine if they get better than that, because that was insane. We lost Rob. We lost Rob's girlfriend, who I still haven't learnt the name of, and I don't need to anymore, clearly. But we lost Rob, we lost Catelyn, we lost Rob's child, we lost Rob's girlfriend, we lost every other Stark man. Oh my god, are you joking me? The one positive thing is that the Hound saved Arya. That's the only thing I can take away positive from that last thing. And that Catelyn got her revenge before she got her neck slit by that guy. Like, I thought Lord Bolton was a good guy. I know he sent Jamie on his way. But I didn't think he was under the thing of the Lannisters. I thought he was just doing what Catelyn wanted. What even happened in the fucking episode? Like, everything is merging into one. Um, D Daenerys, she she made an appearance, I think. She she got, oh wait. And she said Jorah and all that somehow took out 50 people. Unless it's all part of a trap in the next episode. Because next episode's episode 10. I expected that. That should be an end of a series, man. We've lost Catelyn, we've lost Rob, we've lost Rob's son. That's the end of a series. That's the end of a bloody show. Like, I'm sorry. But that is mad. How have we killed off three main, main... Well, no, no. 
three characters and two main, main, main been in every single episode since episode one characters. Like, what the fuck? No, that's, I think this is the most I've sworn in my life. Like, all in one go. I, I, I still can't get over the fact that they're dead. We'll never see Rob again. We'll never see Catelyn again. I at least thought she was going to survive at the end. But oh no, we had to kill her off too. We'll never see Volantis girl again. Sorry, I don't know your name. I, I want to call her Shay, but that's Tyrion's girlfriend. But nothing else happened in this episode. It just went between Rob and Daenerys, to be fair. And Arya, obviously. But she was basically there. And she has witnessed another three of her family members. No. Yeah, three of her family members, technically, because Rob's son would be her nephew. But, yeah, so she's witnessed three of her family members die now. Four, including Ned. And I swear to God, if she loses any more, I'm going to cry. Because I swear to God, the only one's left. I get, I, No, I guess Sansa. I don't really care about her. But I swear, if she loses Bran, Rickon, or Jon, I, I'm going to go kill them. Like, Filch... I, I'll never watch Harry Potter and see Filch in the same way. I thought he was some puny actor. Well, not puny actor. Puny guy that, like, played Filch. And he's just killed Rob. And he just killed Catelyn. I just... Ugh. But, guys, that is going to end up this episode. Now I have to go punch some pillows, punch some walls. And, all importantly, it's 10 o'clock at night. And I am up at 3 a.m. for work. So maybe get some sleep as well. But if you have enjoyed this video, because that is the most insane episode I've ever watched in my life, of any TV show, I'm pretty sure, hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode. Comment down what your reaction was when this happened, because surely it was something like mine. Like, how the hell have they just killed that off? If you want to get my full reaction, because I'm sure I cut a lot of the swearing and initial reaction out, like, I probably kept most of it in, obviously, but some of it, like, the pauses, everything. My Patreon link will be in the description if you want to check out the full reaction, as I just said. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.